Let's start adding the blocks for our GPS locator app. And the first thing we're going to deal with here is our location sensor. So let's go to the My Blocks tab where we can find our components. We'll find our location sensor and we'll drag out a dot location changed block. Now you'll see that our latitude, longitude, and altitude automatically populate up here and we'll just leave those as is. Next we're going to add a set of blocks that deal with the text labels we put into our components viewer. So the first one we want to add is the current address data label and we're going to take the dot text block and we want to set that to our current address so we need to find our location sensor find our location sensor dot current address block and plug that in here so we want the text to read whatever the current address is next we're gonna go find our current latitude label dot text and current longitude label dot text and we'll throw those in here and what do we want those to read? Well, we want this to read the latitude and we want this to read the longitude. And since these are already up here, I'm going to show you that they actually went into the My Definitions area. So these were definitions that were automatically created when we added our dot location changed block. So we're going to find latitude. I'm going to plug that in there. We'll go back and find our longitude and plug that in there. Next we're going to deal with our remember button and tell that what to do. And in this case we just want our button to be enabled. So we want to grab the remember button dot enabled block. We'll throw that in the bottom. And then we want that enabled so we just want to say true. And you can find that in the logic area. Pull out a true block. And we'll plug that in there. Now what we've done here is said to our current address label when this remember button is clicked we want the current address label to show the current address. So using the location sensor we want to use the dot current address block to show our current address. And to further the GPS reading we want our latitude and longitude and we're just using the actual values for those that were created automatically up here and you can certainly use the altitude if you were going to do something like say record a location on a ski slope where you might be at one altitude at the top of the hill and another at the bottom. But since this app is just going to be used for people who are on the ground, we don't need to worry about the altitude.